Hey guys, welcome back to the episode. This one is totally dedicated to location services, which where we'll pick up the current location and start calculating the distance of the airport from my current location to the airports. So that's what is going to happen in this episode where we will be using something called as a location services, which is actually going to capture my current location and then feed it to the view models to actually decide on what is the distance of the airport from my current location. So that's what this whole episode is all about. Let's get started. So if you can see in this uh, uh, table view, you, you don't have any distance calculation happening. It's just showing you zero kilometers each and every uh, every um, airports which is being shown for a city so that's because we don't have any logic where it can decide on the distance so whatever we are going to do is like we're going to calculate the distance for that let's include something called as a location service in the uh, in the services section so let's go there so you have the service we have something which is http let's create something a group called location and I'm going to add something called as a location service. And this location service is going to be using. Where is that? OK, it's going to be using code location. So I'm going to import code location and create a class called location service which is and i'm gonna make it final because i don't need to inherit anymore from here and i'm gonna make it a singleton and uh, <clears throat> next thing is i need to have an init for this gonna keep it as private because we are having it as a singleton so I need it as private and then I'm gonna have an instance of uh, see a location manager which is coming along with the uh, co-location There are some things which needs to be implemented here so this manager is what will start uh, listening to the current location and then once it gets that location it can stop listening to that so let's use this so whenever there is a change it will keep uh, um, reading those location changes so I need to have an extension here location service which is going to implement something called as CL location manager delegate <clears throat> and this needs to implement the location managers did update locations function did update locations that's the function so let's Let's say if we have a location I'm getting the last location, I'm going to use that. So <clears throat> once you get the location, we can start propagating it uh, to whoever is the consumer of uh, that in this case it is going to be the uh, airport view model which is actually requiring the current location to calculate the distance from uh, the airport to the current location so that's where we need to use it so I'm gonna create a couple of things here one is a relay which can accept this location it can be a private relay current uh, location relay I'm gonna call it it's nothing but a behavior relay behavior relay for that we need to import uh, rx relay <coughs> and 
and it's going to accept a tuple called latitude which is of type double and longitude this is nothing but something which this location service is going to give back to us and if there is no location i'm going to keep it as uh, a nullable type so behavior relay because initially i don't think there will be any relay item so i can just uh, initialize it with no value accepting a value you can just say nil so i'm just i will just discard this nil value if there is a nil value and then where current location i'm gonna send it as an observable like whoever is a consumer to it observable this it needs rx swift observable of the same thing <laughs> latitude longitude and it's as simple as uh, self dot current relay convert it as and as an observable that's it and i can also share it so that it is available it, it's only going to be one instance which is going to be consumed or subscribed by multiple so this can keep sending forever i don't need to do a while connected because it can keep sending the signals even if it no no subscribers are not there so that's the intention here so i'm gonna do initialize this manager this is the manager we have cl location manager so for this to work we need to consume we need to subscribe to that specific delegate of manager so this is self because we already have implemented this cl location manager delegate here so we have done that here now i can set the accuracy which is needed decide accuracy i'm going to keep it as maybe um, best for navigation or something and then manager <coughs> request when these are some custom things you need you request always authorization so whenever you start asking for this it's going to uh, whenever we need location services it is going to request for authorization so if <coughs> next check is if, if CL location manager location service is enabled or not this is one check we need to do if 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 uh, location service is enabled we can start uh, updating the current location so this is when it starts updating the location and once location is received it's going to send it through this delegated update location so there we can capture it like what is the current location i can just say um, current location is I can convert it into a tuple and say lat location current location i can just say current location location dot uh, coordinate dot latitude and the next one being longitude location dot coordinate dot location dot coordinate dot longitude those are my location and all that i need now is to send it through the i have defined the current location relay i just need to accept the current location which is nothing but the current location that's it as soon as it receives this okay current location accept okay i made a silly mistake here this is lat even here it's lat and compile it works so that was the problem here so let's continue so right now as soon as it gets the location the last location i can just it accepted and then i can just uh, manager can just stop updating the location stop updating location that's enough so that's it this is my service 
which I'm going to consume. So I'm also going to do a dnit where I'm going to say manager dot stop updating location just in case it's not stopped yet. So that's also done. So dnit service. And so we have this uh, manager which can do the work. Now, let, now let's do a couple of things in the apps uh, info section where we need to add the privacy details or the description so that the user very well knows what we are trying to do with the location they so that it encourages them to give you access and let them exactly know what you're trying to do with the data being collected and all those things so for that we need to include a couple of privacy things privacy first thing is uh, privacy location always and when in use description that's first thing and next one is you can even give a description what you're trying to do and uh, next thing is uh, privacy uh, when in use or always description when in use description privacy location uh, always use his description I hope I'm right Privacy when in use like when in use and location always usage description. When in use usage description and always usage description. When in use let's check that once. Location always and when in use description and always usage. Uh this should be when in use description. Location privacy when when in use description location when in usage description those two so now let's see what happens with these things now you are uh, I hope I have deleted the app yeah now when you run it should at least ask you for the location and it should uh, accept this uh, current location already came there it's giving me it's accepting those locations so ideally what should happen maybe we can restart and relaunch and see what happens we just restart this app is launching Do not ask me for location. That's strange. Let's go and see whether this location services is already enabled or not. Privacy. City airport search. It we already show because I tried it, tested it, and it was already asking. Maybe it's not reflecting properly. Let me try running it in a different simulator, which is where it's not already installed. Maybe 11 Pro, I guess. Let's see. So it's launching. So you can see it's now asking me for permission. So I can allow it while using the app. So it started and it started giving me the current location. So that's it. It's it's it has my current location information. So this is what we are gonna use. This location service is going to give me because it's already there in this behavior relay, it will have the last location because I'm replaying the last value. As soon as something subscribes to it, it can get that last value. So let's do that. Now, who needs this location information? So let's go back to the airport view model. This is where we are trying to get the distance. Uh, we have a fix me here. So this is what we are gonna fix right now. It needs a distance. So this calculation is going to happen using the location service which we created now so we need to now do an extension for uh, the existing one so let's create uh, an extension which can actually calculate the distance 
uh, so for that let's in the airport mod view model itself let's do an extension function function uh, airport uh, view model I'm gonna keep it private I'm just gonna say function to get the distance get distance so it's going to accept uh, the model airport model and uh, the current location which is nothing but the lat long lat double long double and it's going to return a double value which is the distance so we are trying to calculate the distance using these information which you have so model is already maybe this instead of this model i can just say um airport location or something airport location you can just maybe convert it into again something like lat double and long double similar thing like airport location and my current location which i can use to calculate the distance so right now i have uh, um i can just do uh okay this is i can just get this locations i can then transform these into locations so that i can get the distance so i can just say current is equal to cl location so i need to import then uh core location cl location accepting lact and long coordinates so we can accept latitude and longitude latitude of the current one which i have is current location dot lat and current location dot long that's the one for the current location and then to the airport I can just say CL location again use the same thing that long from airport location dot lat and airport location dot long so this gives me current and airport uh, location so I can use these to calculate the distance which is i can directly return distance as current dot distance from airport that gives me the total distance so that's what i'm returning here that's it so that's my function which gives me the distance so I can now use this to calculate the distance here, which is nothing but uh, I can just say airport view model dot can make it as a static function airport view model dot get distance. It's asking me airport location lat long. So I already know that. Um, I can get it from the model uh, model dot latitude I need to convert that because that is coming as a so maybe I just do this I can just say double model dot latitude and double model dot longitude that gives me lat and long of the airport location so this is going to give me a conversion it has to be if it fails maybe i'll just pass zero or something as the lat and long Let's see what the error is. 
cannot convert value of double to argument type maybe we can do something where uh, this can be passed right here itself so that's fine now let's pass the other one which is a law self dot location gives me the location of the other one is it the same type i don't think again self dot location is lat and long which is again a string so okay this is my current location which is available using service so i'm going to get that let's see so this is going to be my current location i need to pass that so that should be available through my uh, airport model let me just check okay so let's start uh, this this should come from the init so let's pass the uh, at least you need to pass the current location through the init of airport model current location which is again latin long double i can accept it and directly pass it here current location That's the airport location, current location that's being passed. And it's going to give me some errors over here. So I pass, I just pass the current location through the init right now. And then this, this will give me an error because I have not created the, can directly return a distance of empty if that's because we can return a nil value here so if i see that these values are empty then i can just directly return m nil from here if lat if uh, airport location dot lat Maybe you can capture it, guard it, guard, let airport lat is uh, airport location dot lat and let airport long is airport uh, location dot long else i'm gonna just return nil no no location details then so it's just going to return empty i mean okay it's better that i keep it as empty because if i keep it as zero then it means that uh, that airport is right beside my current location so it's better that i return empty here and then i can then use this airport lat and airport long here that's it this should be fine it's only failing at one place where we need to pass the location information that's the only place go there so it is right now we have a driver here and it is transforming those into these things like its model is received and it is transformed into a mo view model so whatever we need to do right now is to get a location details here for that we need the location service to be passed the current location to be passed here so that one we need to pass as a dependency to this so we already have this so i can just say current location as a dependency i can just pass an observable lot of uh, lat double and long double that's it and then 
this will then trigger something at the other end before that let's pass this here so i'm gonna use with latest from here so that it's it i can use along with this driver something that something is this dependencies dot uh, current location i'm gonna use current location and then pass these two as params dollar zero dollar one and then i can just say models is my first and then current location is the second param in this one so models remains current location is what the airport view model is going to ask now okay i cannot needs more context because this is a driver and the other one is not a driver so better i convert this into an observer then observable.jest so that it gets transformed and finally i can create a driver as driver something so here again it's closures needs arguments so i cannot just pass can keep it as args and then i can say args.models arg dot models here args dot uh, okay i don't have a name args dot models and current maybe i can call it location arg dot location i guess this should be this is dollar zero This is dollar zero. This is dollar one, and this should be dollar zero because we are passing an individual item there. An airport view model need to accept the current location here, which is already there. So this can be a parameter now. Model and current location should be arc dot arc dot location. let's see this gives me an error gives an error somewhere else it's somewhere here because it's not it's accepting it need to convert it as a driver now so I, I i modified this into an observable i now need to convert it into a if it's an error i'm just going to return an empty array here so this should be fixing it that's also fixed so where is the final error right now okay so this one dependency it is expecting here because this view model builder is creating this view model and it is expecting the current location so i just need to pass that dependency here dependencies has current location which is observable of lat and long so you can just say input and the second one being dependencies I also need to pass the current location which is available using that service maybe i can just say location service equal to shared you can just pass that here location service dot current location that should be enough let's format it properly so that it's readable still it's not readable okay maybe break this down current location location service yes that's it it should not current location cannot be okay it's of type can i unwrap this maybe i just modify there itself here the current location if i go to the dependencies i just need to make this so it's giving more error here because current location if i get that it should not be nil so i can always uh, 
pass something like a uh, lat long which is of type which can be value 0 or something it's just a check if it does not have any value I'm just giving 0 it's not actually correct but then for the time being I'm just being making it but you can always do a error handling here if it does not have a location you can always say uh, location not available and then let not do that uh, you don't need to have a location then at that point I'm just passing zero here so that's that's also complete so whatever has happened right now is let's go to the airport model airport model airport view model oh, we are only there this is airport view model airport view presentable let's go there we have the location distance available right now so it's calculating as soon as it gets this value it starts calculating so now we should start seeing a location because we already have this get distance so it should start giving me a location this is never going to be null so whatever we can do is can this current location be okay let it be like that let's run and see so it should give me a location distance calculation is already there so it should give me a location now new york so it's calculated something huge values and maybe it can validate by giving something near to me uh bangalore still shows a big value i think it's maybe because i'm using a simulator it's not picking up the right values it's just showing something which is there in maybe you can validate it in your device because it's calculating but it's showing some huge values i can validate and come back to you saying whether things i had made is working or not because i need to connect to a device then to check this but it's doing a calculation right now it's showing some big values so that's that's a location service which we integrated now one more thing we need to do is um let's see it, it, whether it is it's not for it's not uh, sorting based on anything it's just giving you as and when one value is inserted so we can do a sorting here based on the distance least distance being at the top so that let's do that we need to again extend this one create an extension airport view model and then let's implement a, a sorting sorting algorithm for that we need a comparable to be implemented let's do that comparable and then we need a couple of static functions to do that function LHS uh, airport view model RHS airport view model returns a bool and we just need to say LHS dot code this is just a comparison like what is that you compare to uh, airport view models with it should be using uh, code so that's my uh, LHS and RHS what's that error airport view model cannot assign value LHS is a let constant Okay, let's see that we need one more missing one which is this less than one for that uh, let's add return this is going to be the sorting one lhs dot distance uh, zero 
less than RHS dot distance again zero. I still have problem here. What is the error? should be a comparison that's a problem so now this should be fine so we have the comparer implemented here now all that we need to do is to apply a sorting whenever it is loading so let's do it wherever we are doing a compact map so this is where it finally converts my view model to an array of uh, models to an array of view models so as soon as that is done we can do say sort it inline sorting and that's it it'll give you the sorted so now it should sort your results based on the distance let's give let's run and see New York distance distance yes yes it's sorted the closest one is the York one but it's showing me some weird kind of distance right now kilometers it's not so 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 far from my place maybe but then it's being simulator I guess it's not picking up the right location so I'll just check that in my device and see and validate in my uh, description section wherever I'm doing it so this is done we are uh, done with this episode where uh, the intention was to actually uh, show you how to work with the location service and then calculate real time the distance uh, all that so this is th in this we try to show you how uh, airports can be uh, listed uh, or uh, sorted based on the distance least distant being at the top so that was using CL location services so hope this episode was useful for you and coming back with the uh, the remaining one not just remaining there are still more like the animation ones and everything where uh, we also need to have one more episode where we are showing going to show these listing like on click of this it's going to present you a view where you can see the map view of uh, this current location with some descriptions that's also coming up then there is something where uh, you have an animation view as soon as this app is launching it will start showing an animation and uh, once that once that initial load is complete it will show you an empty view where it will ask you to search for something so those things are coming up again in the next episodes so i guess uh, maybe two three episodes are still pending before we can wind up this one before we can take up something where we come we uh, make everything as a framework and then use it as frameworks that is also coming up so stay tuned for more until the next episode it's bye from me